Hey everyone, Wireless Productions here. Uh, just a quick update on the CUDA. Um, I wasn't able to track it last time at Sonoma Raceway on June 16th because I had some uh, small uh, oil leak issues that um, I just recently fixed. The problem was um, the T that goes back to the AccuSump um, and goes to the engine from the oil filter uh, was weeping oil. Uh, uh, this, these are one of the... Um, the fittings that I was using, these are dash 12 AN fittings for the oil lines. Um, these are some old parts, but they're the same exact fittings from XRP that uh, I use. Um, so what happened was uh, I wasn't able to get these tightened down uh, properly, or I, I tightened them down as much as I could, but they were still weeping oil. So I pulled off the whole assembly and shipped it back to XRP where they disassembled the fittings themselves pressure, pressure tested the lines and reassembled it back for me um, and when when I got them back I reinstalled them onto, car, onto the car on the CUDA and uh, everything was as dry as a bone um, no leaks whatsoever in the oil lines so what this video is all about is um, uh, I realized when I assembled the AN fittings um, I, I assembled them incorrectly um, the instructions were um, you should use a uh, a flats method. So when you screw when you torque down the fittings to the to the uh, flare, um, you should go uh, a, another flat. So let's see, this flat should end up here when you tighten it. Like this flat right here, where it says USA, should end up here when you when you tighten the the wrench. So that's what I've been doing all the time. I'm gonna tighten it down here, tighten it as much as I can, and like I said, this would still leak. So um, even though I did the flats method, it would still leak from at the knuckle here. So. What happened was, I'm pretty sure what XRP did was, when they re pressure tested my, my fittings, they added a drop of oil to the um, the assembly. And that's what I'm going to do here. So, I'm going to see if um, the assembly goes a little bit further. Um, I should, actually, I should have marked it. So, when you tighten the AN fittings... Um, it's no problem to retighten them and uh, loosen them as long as you don't nick the this 37 degree uh, ceiling edge. So I'm gonna put this back. And then this is what I used to do, uh, which is wrong. Um, so I do the flats method. Like I said, the USA is there, and then you. Tighten it down one whole flat or a quarter of a turn basically. <clears throat> so I'm going to mark these fittings just to see how far they went. Um, Use this yellow paint marker. Let's see here. So I'll use this USA, which is, see there, and I'll mark it. Right there. Hopefully you can see that. There you go. So we'll mark it. Take it off and then see if it goes any further when we use the oil to reassemble the fittings. So what I'm going to do now is get some oil from the oil jug right here. I have some AMS oil. 1040. I'm going to drop of it and put it onto the fittings itself. And 
There's a drop of that on the Q-tip there. Yeah. There, that's more pronounced. There's oil. There's a clean side of Q-tip. So, what they recommend in the instructions is to oil up the, the threads because this will bind, probably bind, and then what causes um, the improper sealing. So if you lubricate the threads, um, it should help it seal better. Uh, when I got my assembly back from XRP, um, it, was, it was pretty oily, so it wasn't because of um, any leaks or anything, they actually used oil to assemble the, the oil, my oil lines again on threads. So I'm gonna try that with these fittings again. So let's see. So you screw them down. And you can see how when I did the flats method, uh, you hand torque it down to as much as possible. And that mark right there was when I used the wrench. So hopefully with the oil, it'll go past it. So let's see my, works on my theory. Switch the wrench. Yep. As you can see, it went past it a little bit. See, it's not completely, well, maybe it is. Um, it went a little bit further, so I think the, that little bit seals it better. So. Yeah, it definitely went a little bit further. The mark's not straight up earlier. I just have to review the video where the mark was, but it looks like a little further past. I mean, you see, the yellow marks aren't totally lined up. It's past where I was earlier. So, so that's what you get when you oil the uh, threads on the um, AN surface. Um, so another way to, to seal if you're having issues is you can also use one of these things. Um, the conical seal, uh, XRP, and uh, sells them as well. So uh, like I said, we, we sell all of uh, XRP's products. Um, these will help as well in a bind. And they're only really needed if you um, have a scratch on the um, the, uh, the 37 degree um, ceiling seat surface. So let me take this apart and just show you guys how to install one. So uh, yeah, it, it really I think it really made a little bit of difference um, using oil. Um, to see that, so that's where my issues are probably coming from. Um, user error on my part, so uh, live and learn. But so the AN seal works by um, conforming to the aluminum. This is aluminum itself. It's it's really um, uh, malleable. And if you have any scratches on the seat there, on the 37 degree seat of the AN fitting, or on the seat here inside. Um, it's really handy to to keep it on there. So uh, works by going there and screw it on top. So let me see. So move the way back. Huh? It's weird.
guess the heights change when you add a the AN seal. This is a hand tight, so I don't expect it to go back to the same marks when you use the AN seal. There is a difference because, like I said, the uh, aluminum conforms to the sealing seat, so that would explain why there's a big gap. This should seal. Um, if I ever install this again, there should be no leaks. But anyways, um, hopefully that was helpful, you guys. And hopefully I did it right. But um, so moral of the story is: use a drop of oil next time you use an uh, you assemble an fittings. It'll uh, prevent you from uh, having the headaches that I had with the Huda, and hopefully not miss any track days. All of the products that we sell are uh, what we use on the CUDA. XRP is one of them. Big, uh, big believer in their, their stuff. Made in USA. Even their wrenches are made in USA, as you can see there. So, hit us up on RileysPro.com or Riles Productions. See you at the tracks. Have a nice day.